What's good, y'all? I'm running super late. It's mini Monday today, though. So y'all already know how that goes. You know what I'm saying? I'm running super late, so y'all back home when I put the helmet on the when I put the camera on the helmet. Whatever, you know how to go. I'll see y'all in a minute. Alright, so some crazy shit happened. Uh essentially my bike broke. I think I blew my oil seal out. Or whatever this seal is behind it. I don't know if you guys can really see that. It's just a bunch of oil sitting down there. Uh so there's a seal behind this um well there's actually two seals. There's one behind my case saver, which is this big black thing on the left, pause. And then uh there's a seal behind my um sprocket. So I think the one behind the sprocket went out. Um I'm gonna put a video in. I was on the I was on the road. I was on the road. This is this literally happened 20 minutes after the last clip that I put it that you know before I left. I was on the road, I was going to go meet up with everybody. Just coming up out of there. It's like my case is snapped open or something. What the f that looked like a crank seal. I had just washed my bike, so I'm like, feels like I don't got no back brakes. Cause I'm just cruising. I wasn't wheeling or nothing, so I hadn't even touched the brakes damn near. So I'm like, it feels like I have no back brakes. Literally a second, maybe two seconds later, I feel a bunch of hot ass liquid i didn't know it was oil at the time but hot ass liquid on my on my left leg i'm like man what the f is this i look down i see a bunch of oil coming out i'm like what the f luckily it was a little dip off alley right there i dipped right off you know what i'm saying i had my boy pick me up and that was probably uh 45 minutes ago and now i'm back at the crib so this will literally be fixed i don't know i, I don't really feel like dealing with it right now <laughs> I can fix it right now. I guess that's the good thing about being a mechanic. You know, I can fix my own bikes. You know, uh, if I have the parts here, I can fix it that day. I can fix it right now. It's only 6.45 right now. I can fix it. I can have it fixed by tomorrow, you know, but I don't think I'm gonna press it too much. I'm gonna probably go do something else. But just had to show you all that. It'll be fixed in a few days. I'm about to clean up all this bullshit. I got a bunch of shit cleaned up. Still fixing this bike. I just got the. Uh, I gotta take these out and put them in here. Take the take those out. Take these out and put those in here. I'm about to just open this side up. You can literally see it leaking and stuff right there. It's just leaking a bunch of oil. That's crazy because I just changed my oil. Just changed my oil and my plugs and cleaned everything up and washed the bike as you guys can see. It's been dirty the last few rides or whatever. I uh, need to wash it more. I'm actually gonna build a beater bike because this bike, I've got too much money in this bike to just be beating on it the way I do. And I don't not do anything because my bike is clean. I don't be like, oh no. Only thing I don't do is go in the woods, but I'm never gonna go in the woods. I don't like, I don't like being on a dirty bike period, but I can deal with dust and you know, that washes away. I can't deal with mud and all that shit. Like this bike right here, clean. This bike right here, it's my boy bike. He rides in the mud and shit like that. Certain shit I just don't like want to deal with. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna build a bigger bike, or maybe I'll use that one as my bigger bike. I'm not sure yet, but either way, I'm gonna get into this one, and I'm gonna let you guys know what it ends up being. So here's the problem. Let me get a flashlight. Exactly what I said it was is what it is. Okay, so you guys can see that. This is not supposed to just move like that. So that's the problem. <laughs> I'm gonna just fix it and I'm gonna get back with y'all. Yes, sir, we back, put the seal in, sealed it up. I forgot to make a video beforehand. But about to set it up. I'm gonna lift it on at 12 and see if it's leaking oil. If it's not, we Gucci. If it is, back to step one. All right, so I just got done with my boy's bike. So everything I did, I swapped the reeds, took off that cool head, got a cylinders board, put a brand new top end on there. Uh, I put a bigger jet in here because uh, for the break-in period, uh, swapped this wire to an OEM wire. I replaced the seal on the bottom, the bottom, one of the crank seals, new head, new plugs. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna give it its first uh, few startups, let it uh, break in, and we'll play it like that. All 
All right, what's good, y'all? I'm back. So I got my man's bike done. That's how I did Y'all seen that. I forgot to record him, like, actually taking it or whatever. And then my bike is done. This one actually only took, like, 15, 20 minutes, uh, if that, honestly. So I don't know if you guys are familiar, but there's a seal. There's two seals. There's the something with the ship drum seal behind this right here. And then there's a seal, an oil seal behind the current or behind the sprocket. So usually that's a bottom case split, not the not the one behind the case saver, but the one behind the sprocket is a you gotta split the cases and reseal them or whatever. But it doesn't cause an air leak. So I took the foot stand, foot peg, shifter, and the um, stator cover off, and then I took the case saver and the sprocket off and it literally just fell out so i got a i went and i got a one of these i forget what it's called but i went and got one of these and this is a one and three eighths and it was just big enough to fit over that seal so i just hammered it in a little bit with a mallet a rubber mallet and i made sure i put some sealing in there some yamabon and then i hammered it in and made sure it sat and everything and so far so good i'll give you guys a startup in a second but i'm gonna let the, keep letting the bike heat up i'm gonna give it a few test runs before i go hit the streets for real but i just cut the bike on earlier and it was good but i'm gonna set you guys up and let y'all you know see that it's back baby So I'm back road yesterday and my brakes went out. They are bad. I knew I already knew I needed a new master cylinder, but ain't too worried about it. I got I'm luckily I'm fortunate enough to have a few bikes laying around. I already ordered an OEM one, but I want to ride today. So I'm gonna take this one off and take this one off. I ordered a, a brand new OEM one, but it won't be here till like uh, Tuesday, it's Saturday right now, Saturday morning. So I'm gonna replace these two. I'm gonna swap these two, but I'm just gonna leave this one off. And I ordered a rebuild kit. I ordered an OEM one and a rebuild kit. I just wanna see if I can rebuild this one. I never actually dealt with anything on these, so we're gonna see how that goes. But I'm gonna take this off and swap them and we'll see how it hits. All right, so I got everything done, everything's, uh back on this is a rear master cylinder i got everything swapped i took it off of that bike like i said i got an oem coming one coming and i'm gonna even go through the work of i just want to see what a brand new oem one feels like so pause so i'm gonna swap everything once the oem one comes and then put this back on that bike but i just want to show you guys this is really 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 simple and i feel like everybody should know this if they even know you know how to turn a wrench but this is how you uh lower your rear brake or raise it so i know like people that ride motocross or whatever they got them big thick ass boots so they like them lower or whatever or it's however you want it uh i like mine to be just a tad lower than flush when i'm because i willy so my foot is almost more so propped up like this a little bit so i and i like to be able to rest my foot so this is all play right here this is all play. This isn't doing nothing. My brake hits right here, which is a little bit lower than, I wish I had another hand to show you. This is a little bit lower than flush. This is about that much lower than flush when it starts to hit, which is for me is perfect. So I'm not gonna adjust it, but I'll show you guys how to adjust it. So all you're gonna do is you need a 10, you need a 12 millimeter. So the 12, knock this, knock this nut loose, spin towards you to the left, of course. If I spin this clockwise, this will go lower. If I spin this counterclockwise, this will come higher. And then after you're done with that, just lock this nut and you're good. 
And you can even do it on the bike. So I just sit on the bike like this, have my foot, and then I take my 10 and I just spin whichever way until I feel, okay, this is good, this is good. So that doesn't necessarily adjust the sensitivity of your brake or anything like that. If you having brake sensitivity problems, I say uh, bleed, bleed the brakes, change the pads, and if you still have a problem, it's either the caliper or the uh, rear master cylinder. My brakes, they worked, but it was just super, super, super faint. So like I would have to stab them and it would hit the floor and then it'd start working a little bit, but I only tested that out one time to figure out, oh, okay, this isn't fun. I never had a bad piston on my brakes, but it's definitely possible. These are, you know, 20, 30 plus year old bikes. So the more stuff you replace brand new, the more it'll feel like out the store. My brakes hit immediately. My brakes used to not hit till they were like right here. That's how I knew I needed it. And I bled them and I cleaned the pads or and I, I bled them and I cleaned the rotor and all that and it still was just not it. So it's gonna take a while to bleed after you uh, put, put the new rear master cylinder on there, but it ain't bad. So yeah, that's it.